The history of Shasha Market in Ibadan. Know your history so you can solve a problem. Go and re-establish the ballet as the custodian of the area and stop this Seriki Shasha rubbish so peace can reign supreme. The government and the world believe that Shasha is a settlement for the Londoners. It's a lie, big lie. Shasha is the acronym for Sustainable Adjustment Settlement Area and it comprises of 13 hamlets and settlements brought together by the government due to acquisition of present site of IITA by government. It was one of the projects promoted by late Chief Mrs. Bolanwa, who sadly has a gate man as the Seriki Shasha today. You can't solve a problem when you don't even know that Shasha is not a Fulani or Hausa settlement, but a community established by 13 Yoruba communities to foster trade and commerce. You can't solve a problem when you fail to acknowledge the fact that 95% of properties burned or raised down in Shasha belongs to the Yorubas, which is very sad. Bread, I mean bread, was sold in the petrol by the northern miscrants to burn the properties of the Yorubas. Today, northern governors are asking for compensation for people who sleep under trailers or kiosk. Why the government of Oyo is not talking about the people who lost their shops, offices, houses, and valuable properties, or how to rebuild the communities without displacing the original owners by allowing the northern governors to rebuild Shasha? I bet you don't know that Shasha, now called Shasha, is an acronym for Sustainable Adjustment Settlement Area. Oyo State must not crumble under the Fulani headsman Jack Bunto. The insult upon injury is too painful. A point of correction, Shasha, which is Sustainable Adjustment Settlement Area, was a scheme designed by the Ford Foundation to resettle displaced 10 villages occupying the current location of IITA in 1969. My department has an ongoing research project area that encompasses one of the abandoned villages, Omowale village, located at the West Bank, IITA.